Oh my god. Congratulations. What a Thanks. performance. Seriously. Thanks. Um, the beginning scene, very, very, very harsh. Yeah. What went through your mind when you watched it afterwards? Um, what went through my mind? Uh, I, I was affected by it, you know, which, um, which you always hope to be in some way. I mean, it's always difficult to be objective or feel objective about something when you were involved in it, obviously. Mm -hmm. But that was a really tough sequence to shoot, and we really tried something specific to mm -hmm. um, kind of stitching it all together as this subjective sort of wonder. Um, and uh, so I was just, uh, you know, I was really curious to see how it came out, see how it worked. It was a really tough couple, few days of shooting, you know, and um, uh, I was happy with it ultimately. Mm -hmm. um, even though it's tragic and uh, you know it's I just think it's a real kick to the gut um, to start the movie and it comes out of nowhere too and I think it it's really chilling you know and um, I think I think for for everybody it hit home because it's the world we live in today mm -hmm. are you personally afraid of terrorist attacks I think everyone kind of you know anytime you hear about something happening uh, you know it, it feels like it's far too common nowadays that you, you wake up and read something um, that went on somewhere, you know. Uh, I think that's that's a big responsibility the movie had, you know, in a way. That was something that was really important to me at the beginning of it. Um, I I was I was I was interested in um, doing something that touched on that subject matter, but in the right way, you know. And because uh, again, I think you do you have to be really sensitive to it, and you have to depict it um, as realistic as you can. Otherwise, you're not you're doing it a disservice, you know. And, because um, it is something that everyone's living with right now, unfortunately, and it is something that is very um, scary for everybody, uh, you know. Um, and it's a universal thing, and it's something that's just current. And this is, uh, but they, at the end of the day, you know, this, it's you're dealing with that subject matter, but it's, you know, um, you're dealing with a personal journey um, amidst that subject matter. And I think that's what was interesting to me. We also learn about revenge. Yeah. In yeah. Um, are you like a revengeful person? Um. um it's funny, I'm getting asked this a lot. Uh, I, get, <laughs> well, I think I am, you know? Uh, no, I think, I, I think, yeah, I think I am. I, you know, I was always an emotional kid, you know? Uh, um, I'm not um, I'm not somebody who doesn't react to things, you know? I think I, I, can, I can feel all kind of emotion. I can get angry, I can get, you know, sad, I can um, be happy. Uh, so I think it is a natural kind of, you know, um, reaction to have, especially when you're younger or something, if, you know, um, somebody kind of uh, harms you in a way or someone you love you know your instinct is to uh, get them back in some way but it's more about you know for Mitch too I think he goes through this in a really huge way mm -hmm. um, you know he needs to realize at some point that that pain's always going to be with him you know right. and that's mainly it you did um funny videos let's talk about that real quick uh, before uh, you <laughs> came there I don't know if they were funny they were videos <laughs> videos okay <laughs> which one is the most embarrassing one you would want to say oh man <laughs> which all one gonna haunt you for the rest all of your of life them. all of them <laughs> uh, there's a Spice Girls one that gets brought up to me all the time but uh, I can't say that was the most embarrassing one because you know even even if they, you know, I'm, I'm somewhat embarrassed by uh, all of them at this point but at the same time <laughs> yeah I, I you gotta be I'm, I'm proud of those videos too, though, because that's what you know. That's what led to me getting to uh, kind of had this career, you know, and um, and I'm so lucky to have found this now too. And um, even when I was doing those videos, I never realized that like I that uh, I could ever do this, you know. I think I loved it so much. Funny enough, I put it on a pedestal and thought that I could never do it professionally, but I can do it in my own little house. And yeah, so I don't know. They're they're all somewhat embarrassing, but also I have a lot of pride in them too. Couldn't take them off the internet if I wanted to, as well, because I <laughs> forgot my password. So. We, <laughs> we wouldn't want you to. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you.